question about T-Rex. A question about T-Rex? Never fear, your friendly dinosaur lady is here. I'm already positive it doesn't look like what we thought it looked like. I can understand how you might have the idea that paleontologists and paleo artists are just kind of guessing when it comes to how dinosaurs look. But there are actually lots of concrete ways that we can unravel what these ancient animals looked like. Paleontologists and paleo artists have dedicated literally their entire professional lives to figuring out how to go from a skeleton to a fully fleshed out animal in the most accurate way possible. And I'm gonna get into a few ways that they can do this as I answer your question. But here's a big question. A horse skull looks like this, yet the majestic horse, it it looks like this. And a dog skull, more carnivorous looking, but the dog looks like this, it has jowls. So the first thing I need to point out is that every animal you picked in your example is a mammal. Hopefully this is kind of obvious, but mammals are not closely related to Tyrannosaurus rex. Mammals and reptiles split from one another hundreds of millions of years ago, and mammals have gone on to develop lots of unique characteristics, like external ears and specialized teeth. So choosing a mammal as your point of reference for this reconstruction is not a good choice. Why do we see this on the T-Rex and other carnivorous dinosaurs? Assume it looks like this. When trying to understand how extinct creatures looked, paleontologists and paleo artists often take references from their closest living relatives. And the closest living relatives to all dinosaurs are birds because birds themselves are living dinosaurs. When you go step back a bit further, dinosaurs are also related to crocodiles and alligators. So let's take a look at this croc skull and now the living crocodile. And here is a crow skull and the living crow. In both these cases, the living relatives of T-Rex have skull shapes that match very closely their head shapes without lots of extra flaps of skin or cartilaginous structures. Why can't the T-Rex have jowls? Why didn't he look like this? In cases of exceptional preservation, it is possible for things like skin flaps to be preserved, such as in the Cytacosaurus, where there's a flap of skin that is connecting its leg to its main body. But so far, all the predatory dinosaurs we've found that have had skin or feather impressions have had skull shapes that roughly match the shape of the bones. That makes a lot more sense to me. So paleontologists and paleo artists don't reconstruct dinosaurs certain ways just because it feels right. They piece together the physical evidence from the fossil record to make the best, most accurate depiction that they can. And then they refine it when new discoveries are made. So even though our picture of what a T-Rex looked like might change slightly in the future, the reconstructions you're seeing now are based on more fossil evidence than ever before, getting us closer and closer to being able to see what a real T-Rex looked like.